Well, how about this? The finals have come a week early. A virtual elimination final in round 18. And Gray Morris has got his final shirt on, Gray. Jeez, it's exciting. Wanderers and Palmerston to battle it out for a spot in the NTFL top five this weekend. Blockbuster weekend of football it is indeed. Uh, Palmerston or Wanderers, who will we see in the elimination final? We're going to preview that game very soon, but let's start with St Mary's taking on the Tiwi Bombers, Gray. It's the Dennis Dunn decider, and it's sure to be another ripping game. For me, Gray, it's my grand final preview, but uh, on the line is the Dennis Dunn trophy for the league's leading goal kicker, Matthias Liddy, or Matthias Liddy, I should say, on 51 goals, Darren Ewing 54. Who's going to win it, Gray? I think Ewing, Mr Ewing will win it again. Uh, he's been very efficient with his goal kicking. He's played less games too, I think, than his Tiwi rival. So I think it'll be another St Mary's Dennis Dunn goal kicking winner. Adding more theatre to the drama, Gray. Of course, Matthias Liddy playing against his old side. Do you think that'll spur him on? You'd, you'd hope so. Uh, I think he's got memories of playing all his junior football at St Mary's. And he'd love to beat them in the last home and away game and keep his side's double chances alive. Well, as you say, it's a, it's a huge game for the Bombers and for the Saints. The Bombers have a very, very slight chance of stealing third spot. They'd need uh, results to go their way and they'd need to have a massive win against uh, the powerhouse that is St Mary's. Can they do it, Gray? Well, they can do it, but uh, unfortunately they're up against a St Mary's side that does not like losing games of football. Either I think the Tiwi Bombers just have to get the ball, run with it, use it well, anything can happen in a game of football. St Mary's, they continue on their merry way. They had a good win against Waratah on the weekend. Uh, it's hard to see them stopping uh, short uh, of the finals, Great. No, you're right. St Mary's have been playing very good football all season. They have lost, though. They have lost two and a half games, really. They've lost two games and they drew with Palmerston, out of Palmerston early in the season. So they are vulnerable, but uh, they've got that little determination about them now. They're going to be very, very hard to beat. St Mary's and the Tiwi Bombers live on AFLN TV. Really looking forward to bringing you that one. Before that game, though, is the game that we mentioned from the opening great. It's Wanderers and Palmerston, and it's going to be one hell of a game. It's a final. The winner stays on grey. The loser is out, and uh, the prestige of playing finals is on the line. Yes, and Palmerston haven't been there for a long time, Dave. Uh, five years now since we've seen the black and white stripes out there on, on finals weekend, so can they get there this year? I know Dean Rioli and his troops are very confident about it. So are Wanderers though, Wanderers have been disappointing in the last couple of weeks, we all know that, but uh, they've brought some big names back this week and I reckon they'll give this a real shake. Mm. Rumours circulating Gray that Wanderers are, are certainly going to attack this with absolutely everything. Have you spoken to Andrew Hodges or any of the Wanderers boys during the week? I, I did get Hodjo on the phone just, uh, just this morning, coincidentally Dave. Uh, he mentioned that two of the Motlob boys will be back. Uh, Homer, big Homer from the VFL, Jackson Homer. He'll be down on the forward line somewhere and so will Liam Patrick who uh, is still my outside chance for the Nichols medal despite only playing uh, about 12 games. Well, interesting stuff. Wanderers versus Palmerston, or Palmerston versus Wanderers I should say. That game on at TIO Stadium from 3.10 down the Highway Grey, Southern Districts host Nightcliff in a game that's uh, always interesting when you get teams that play off in round 18 and more than likely will play again in first in the first week of the finals. Exactly, you wonder on the mindset of both sides, don't mm. you, when they're going to be playing each other next week, you would think, but uh, I, I know that both teams will want to go in, into the final with momentum, there's no doubt about that, and the wide open spaces there at Northfield Oval too, it's a big ground out there at Fred Park, you've really got to run all day at it, and for that reason I reckon the home side will just get over Nightcliff and watch it be a ripper. I always find that an interesting coaching conundrum. Shannon Ruska and uh, Damien Hale in a bit of a predicament as to whether to show all their cards or not. What would you do if you were coaching the sides, Gray? Yeah, you're right. I'd play my cards pretty close to my chest, actually, knowing I'm going to be playing next week. Uh, but as I said, and what they'll tell you is momentum is a big thing in football. So uh, I, I think both sides will be right out there having a go. But uh, I don't think the result will matter that much to either side. Well, Southern Districts and Nightcliff at 4 o'clock at Norbuilt Oval, the final game. It's a bit of a dead rubber, but uh, Waratah and Buffaloes playing each other at 4 o'clock at Gardens Oval. All the games on Saturday, just to make sure that everyone's uh, got the same break heading into the finals. Great. A quick word on Waratah and Buffaloes and their seasons that they've had. Well, Waratah have had an ordering year, haven't they? They've only won two games, but uh, they did play very well two weeks ago to beat Districts, and they'll be very keen to finish the season on a winning note. Uh, and the Buffaloes, well, they were terrible last week against Districts, but they were very undermanned. 
I reckon it'll be the same case this week too. Uh, whether they can regroup the Buffaloes and make a go of it is the show. Strangely enough, we'll have Waratahs on the bottom of the ladder, probably start the game as favourites. Yeah, interesting one. Uh, not sure how big the crowd will be, but uh, if you're a Waratah or a Buffalo supporter, do the right thing and head down to Gardens Oval 4 p.m. Taking a look at the ladder now, and we can see here that pretty much the first four positions on the ladder are Secure Grey, St Mary's, Nightcliff Districts and Tiwi likely to finish in the top four in that exact order. It's just that fifth spot up for grabs. Yes, as you said, a virtual elimination final. Uh, surely all the NTFL fans out there will get their umbrellas together and get down there and watch that, because I think there's rain forecast. Should be an interesting game. Hopefully the, the rain uh, stays off for the punters, but um, Gray, let's, uh, let's put it on the line here. It's time for our predictions. Who's gonna take that fifth spot in the finals? I think Palmerson can just get over the line, actually. Uh, I, I know they're going to be short of tall, so as you, uh, our viewers would have read in the into news during mm. the week. But I just reckon that Palmer get enough uh, enough hardness at the ball just to get over Wanderers, although with those big names back like Patrick and the Motlops, you never know what to expect from Wanderers. Well, interesting game. I'm going to go with Wanderers Grey just to split the uh, the difference there. Wanderers and Palmerson, a virtual elimination final. There's absolutely no reason not to go to the footy this Saturday. If you're going to go down to TIO, you've got the final, then you've got the Dennis Dunn decider. If you can't make it to any of the grounds, you've got all the action live on AFL MTV. St Mary's and the Tiwi Bombers, great. I'm really excited about this weekend. Looking forward to it, great. And we all are, Dave, for sure. Well, from us here today, we'll see you next time on DK and Grey.